Bob Orlando Realtors, Scott Garrison with Remax Down and Country. Here's my realtor partner, Deanna Sakoto at the Leon Springs State Park in the Leon Springs, just about 45 minutes north of Orlando. And we love to bring you cool places, day trips, things to do in Orlando, a great reason to live here in our city. And we're at the famous waterfalls, about the only waterfalls that you're going to get in Florida here at the Leon Springs. Now, the Leon Springs has been settled. People have been here visiting for thousands of years. The Mayaka Indians named it Aquara or Place of Healing Waters. There's a spring over there that's about 80 feet deep and the water gushes out at a high velocity, causing that to fill up, that water to go down, and eventually this will go and help fuel the St. John's River. This was a spot that was developed by the white people much, much later. Here in 1835, there was a sugar mill that got burned down by the Indians in the first Seminole War, 1835 to 1842. Later in the Civil War, Florida was the third state to secede from the Union, and this was the site of a sugar and corn mill. It was actually a sugar mill first, then a corn mill where they were grinding corn for the Confederate troops. The Union soldiers came in, burned everything down to stop the supply lines for the Confederate South. So people have been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. The Leon Springs was a privately owned park all the way up to 1982, where you had all this swimming, the boating, all the activities. It was sold to the state, and now it's one of the jewels of the Florida State Park System. You've got over there, you've got a huge swimming hole. It's anywhere between 18 inches and 80 feet deep, so good for any height. We've also got abundant boating where you can rent boats, canoes. We've got a boat that leaves every hour, only $19 between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. every single day. Go out for a one hour boat tour. We're out front of the famous Sugar Mill restaurant where you can get all you can eat pancakes. You cook yourself on a griddle. Each table has its own little griddle. You cook them only $8 got to get here early or it's a pretty long way. We're at the site of originally what was a sugar mill, which then became a grist or corn mill during the Civil War. John James Audubon, that naturalist who wrote lots of books, journals, seemed like he traveled all over the Southeast United States. He came here in 1831, made extensive notes in his journal as to the quality of the river, the quality of the springs, how unique they were. And to this day, people are still reading his journal and it still is mostly like that. There just weren't as many kids swimming back in 1835 as there are right now. So here's how the sugar mill works. The when you bottle this spring up, it's a little bit higher than the rest of the river. That's what causes the waterfall right here. You can see the differential in the level of the water, which is what causes the waterfall. It's how they powered the wheel here. Instead, you stop up the waterfall, the water rushes down here. It turns this wheel. The wheel has a grindstone or a mill and they use it to either get the juice out of the sugar cane or to grind the corn into a corn flour. This is about the only place around that you could do that. This is Diana Sakoto with the Real Tour Scott Gayson team and uh, we might stand in country and if you want to buy or sell a home in East Orlando, call us 407-486-9167.